good happy, happy new year, new year. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I think someone said it was New Year's. Yes. Yeah. Oh my gosh. The happiest New Year. Happy New Year. That's so nice. Okay. Hi. <laughs> Welcome to our last live show ever Hello. of the year. Um, Crazy. Yeah. How has it been a year? I don't know. Um, this one is going to be just a very chillax. Yes. We're going to talk about a Christmas carol a little yes. bit. And we, ha- oh, did you want to? Emma got us these amazing sweatshirts with the Dickens versus Tolstoy design. So we thought because this is more of a casual live show, we would mm. dress casually and all cozy and bust there. around. Yes. But mm. it's also very fitting for the live show because it's yes. Dickens versus Tolstoy. So. <laughs> um, so we're going to talk a little bit about a Christmas Carol. And then we did have the one optional um, Mr. Dickens and his Carol by Samantha Silva. Yes. Um, I listened to it. So I read it um carolyn didn't which maybe is a good thing okay. um but let me know if you guys read it too because i had a lot of like mixed feelings and like just be aware if you are reading it it does spoil um two or three i think of dickens endings in his book so yeah but anyway happy new year thank you so much Yay. for coming and just like this year has been so fun and amazing mm-hmm. and this mm-hmm. has been like the best thing ever so um yeah, this is not going to have like any structure at all. We're just going to talk about a Christmas carol. So feel free to put in your like rating or your thoughts or your favorite quote. Um, yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> the, how many how many times is this you rereading it? Like three? This, this is my third reread. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. and it's just every single time I return back to it. I said this recently that like, you know how so many Christmas songs are about like going home for the holidays? Oh, that's mm-hmm. sort of how reading or rereading yeah. a Christmas Carol feels like. It's like, oh, every year I get to go home to like the world of Dickens's A Christmas Carol, and just like spend the time with like the fictional families. So, yeah, I every time I read it, I get something new out of it, and I just yeah. it's just yeah. like it doesn't feel like Christmas unless I read A Christmas Carol now. So yeah, five stars. Yay! Oh, yeah, yeah. Anyway, Wait, what did you give it? Did you, read? Hmm? did you give it five stars? Yeah. <gasps> Every oh time. God. Every oh time. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, that's so cool. I've never seen um an adaptation. <gasps> I know. Emma. I know. Oh I'm my sorry. gosh. You well, I grew up. I grew up watching the George C. Scott version, which is I think from like eight. The 1980 something. Okay. Um, I don't remember the exact year. And then I really love the Jim Carrey version. I know some people have like mixed opinions on it. It's the oh, is, it, is that the animated one? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, I feel like what's great about every Christmas Carol adaptation is that they're all very faithful. Um, like I'm pretty sure those two that I've watched. They almost are like word for word with some, like most of the dialogue. So, mm. you know, I, like I really appreciate that because they mm. didn't just like take the overall concept and, and you know, tell the story, but switch it a bit. They basically yeah. take the dialogue and put it in. So <laughs> there's the Muppets one. I yes, like I have never one. seen the Muppets Christmas Carol. Is Kermit yeah. the Frog Scrooge? I think so. Okay. Or or Donald Duck? Donald Wait. Wait. Oh my god! No, no, there is no no there is one. Isn't there one with Donald Duck as Scrooge though? I'm Googling this. Oh my god, Donald Duck the new Muppet. Wait. <laughs> oh, oh Kermit is Bob Cratchit. What? Kermit is Bob Cratchit. Okay. Oh wait! Sorry, 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 sorry. Who is who is Scrooge then? Oh wait, is, this, a wait, is Scrooge a human? Okay. There is a Disney version. See, okay. Mm-hmm. Um, wait, hold on. We're doing. Um, <laughs> wait, because yeah. I need to know now. I think yeah, I think you're right though. I think he is um, Scrooge. Oh, it's very deep. Okay, maybe I've seen that one actually, or like parts of it, or maybe it was like a fever dream. I don't know. There's a Barbie version. There is. I didn't know that. Wait. I'm pretty sure Donald Duck 
Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Scrooge. Okay. <laughs> like, I'm not going insane, am I? <laughs> oh my God. Okay, anyway. Um, yeah, I think I gave it like, I gave it like four stars. It's like, I don't know. It just made me so much more emotional this year. Like, wait, where, like, wait, wait only four? Why not a five? I just think like, I don't know. I Because like, I'm ranking it kind of with like all of, like, you know, the rest of Dickens' work <laughs> and like, like classics in general like it just doesn't have that like 100% punch I feel like it wraps up pretty quickly and like I don't know what else I didn't love about it I don't know but it just didn't like you know when you get that feeling and you know yeah, it's five yeah. yeah. Okay. it just didn't like I don't know but it just made me so emotional this year and like you said it just feels like yeah coming home but yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. um do you have like do you, well down to... oh. oh my god that's so cute okay, and sorry, do said... I have more? wait what? what what who's saying what someone said michael kane is scrooge. oh scrooge okay, okay 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 now i remember that i was gonna mm. say wait isn't he played by an actor like a human um yes um oh my god but wait, I was going to say something. Mm-hmm. Oh, do you have a favorite sp- spirit or like a, a favorite part of the book that it's like the spirit of um, Christmas past, present or future? Like, do you think one? Yeah, I feel like in the book, the ghost, like the future is definitely my least favorite mm-hmm. um, part. I just feel like it doesn't hit as hard as the other two. Yeah, um, definitely like past is just so like absolutely crippling but then yeah. like present is like present I feel like is the most enjoyable to read because I feel like mm-hmm. Dickens really like lays it on thick it feels like his like writing is just like just like icing and so much fun in that one um and then it literally just makes you feel like you're like spending Christmas with their family and stuff yeah. that's so nice but I think like past just because like that's yeah yeah mm-hmm. the most emotional and like yeah yeah, yeah. definitely I also love the lead up, like the first stage, yeah. one of my favorite parts of the whole book, because I feel like it's Dickens, like setting up all of the like magic of the story. And I just, I don't know, every time I read it, I get like this feeling inside and I'm like, oh my God, I'm back, you know? Yeah. But yeah. yeah. Past. Past. yeah. And then do we have a favorite character? I don't know. I feel like minus Scrooge because he's the main character yeah it's just like I think it's so because I like read this um at the same time as uh Mr. Dickens and his Carol and it's like so funny like how much Dickens is Scrooge kind of Mm -hmm. um I don't know if anyone read Mr. Dickens and his Carol but like it really takes a lot of liberties and stuff which wasn't like like my favorite thing ever um but like like he was in that position essentially and it was just so interesting to see because like before reading the book I had no idea like Dickens was in um you know a pretty tough financial situation and nothing in his Mm -hmm. life was going right and he was in so much debt and blah 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 um so yeah I don't know wait who did you say was your favorite did you say you had? oh I didn't um I, I asked the question and I don't even know if I have a favorite. Um, I really love Bob Cratchit because yeah. I feel like no matter what happens to him, he always stays positive for his family. And like, he's always just, I guess like the light in a really dark situation and what he does for Tiny Tim and, and, and just his, his entire family. I don't know. I, I have a soft spot. Also the fact that he only gets one coal and he's like, you know, just warming himself with one coal. <laughs> like, I know. Wow. Cute. Scrooge and Cratchit. Scrooge. Oh, Fezzy Wig. Yeah, that was nice. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. In the Jim Carrey version, Colin yeah. Firth is um is his nephew. Oh, okay. Oh, Bob Cratchit. Hi Mary. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I think the beginning is so, like, just, like, the winter atmosphere, I just, like, uh, Mm -hmm. I would die for it. And the fog and the buildings and London. So Mm -hmm. nice. So, so nice. And it's so fun to see that, like, after, because Christmas Carol comes a little bit after everything we've read so far for this year. But we just wanted to read it, obviously, in December. But, like, it's so cool to see how Dickens has already 
gotten so much better. So mm -hmm. definitely. And it, it is one of his earlier books, like in the grand scheme of his, yeah, work, yeah. all his works. Um, but yeah, I know it's just, I feel like out, out of all of the books that we've read from him so far, this has the most like a Dickensian feel. Like I feel yeah. like everyone's yeah. he's still trying to like develop his, his writing style and, and the way that he presented a story and, and actually wrote it. But I feel like a Christmas Carol is just him taking like common cliches and and metaphors. Like the first and page. Oh yeah, God. exactly. Yeah, everything that we love about him and and kind of putting it on a pedestal and presenting it in such a beautiful way. And the fact that he wrote it in I think six weeks was it six? Okay. Weeks? <laughs> the Chris um the historical fiction one made it seem like it was a couple days. Oh wow. Um, um, I it I like I said it took so many um there's just so much fiction in it I wonder why though I think she was just having fun like it was I'm not gonna spoil anything but mm -hmm. the book is kind of it's about Dickens but it's also a sort of retelling of the Christmas Carol at, oh. at the same time okay so, yeah. oh okay yeah okay I okay see. okay <laughs> Colin Firth is everywhere, <laughs> as he should be, as he should be. Um, so did, do you think that you enjoyed reading the historical fiction side by side? Or do you think it kind of... I think at first I did, because when I started um, Mr. Dickens and his Carol, if you guys read it, like put in your rating, I think I gave it a three star. Because um, when I first started reading it, I was like, oh my gosh, it's like very true it's like detailing Dickens situation and everything he's going through um mm -hmm. and it was really providing so much background for a Christmas Carol and so I thought it was going to kind of progress that same way and like keep that reality the whole way through and then it started to descend into like things that I knew were blatantly very wrong not historically accurate um and it was this weird balance of keeping a Christmas Carol and Dickens life there but then also there's some fantastical elements to it. So yeah, like I love learning about kind of how it came about because I do think it does a good job of that. But as a book itself, I didn't really love it. So, okay. Yeah. And I was, I was planning on reading it and then I went into the Libby app and there was like a two week hold. And so I put a hold on it, hoping that it would come early because sometimes like either someone doesn't read it or they return yeah. it early. <clears throat> it never did. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Maybe next year. Or actually maybe after we read those books mm -hmm. um, that it talks about. Yeah. But yeah. Something I did, something I thought was accurate was in Mr. Dickens and his Carol. Dickens just happens to bump into people on the street who are named Marley mm -hmm. um, and Tim and basically all of the characters in A Christmas Carol. And the first time it happened, I was like, oh, that's so cool. That yeah. must be exactly where he got his name. And then it literally happened for like almost every character in A Christmas yeah. Carol. Like, this is well, way too much, you gotta stop. Yeah, um, I know that Dickens would carry a little like notebook around yeah. and he would write down names that he liked to use them yeah. for his characters. So I know that that is somewhat accurate. I don't know if that's the case for every single character though. Probably not. Uh, yeah, no, probably not. Mm -hmm. Um, but it did also characterize so many of like his late night walks mm -hmm. and his walking habit, which was mm -hmm. really fun to see. Um, and then yeah, yeah, yeah. that was cool. Mm -hmm. We have not, unless Carolyn has, and I somehow don't know about it. Uh no, so, I yeah. wish. <laughs> I no. wish. Yeah. I would like to be there right now. We just teleport. <laughs> Oh my gosh. What else did I want to say about this? I don't know. It was just so nice. It feels so cozy. The fog. Mm, I know. The fog. <laughs> and I, I feel like even though we've never experienced, obviously, Victorian London or London at all, because um, both of us have never been there, it just... I don't know if it's because of all the adaptations or maybe being so familiar yeah. with that setting, but it really, yeah. it's so easy. Yes, the atmospheric-ness uh, of the book is so good. And then I feel like with that, it makes the setting really come to life, even though yeah. like said, it's a place we've never been. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my God. This too. Mm. Uh, I think this is good. Yes. Yeah. Definitely. They're like little short, like, mm-hmm. punches, and then they went away, which was like, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Because I feel like Dickens, I feel like because he had the time constraint, he wasn't as worried about uh, telling it um, serially, obviously. Mm-hmm. So it was more a concern of like telling the story in that very um, distinct and in a short amount of pages and time. So I feel like he really got, he like packed up whole punch in a very sh- short yeah. package. So. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Lucy, we will go. Oh, yes, please. Please. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know, did you have a favorite? Oh, no, we did do our favorite quotes, or at least I have some marked. Um, oh, yeah. Just the whole opening, I think, is like I know. the whole underlying. <laughs> the whole first stave. I'm like, that's my favorite. Yeah, <laughs> yeah absolutely. Um. yeah like the fog came pouring in at every chink and keyhole and was so dense without that although the court was of the narrowest the houses opposite were mere phantoms just Dickens and his houses and making them characters and ah you know love it. it is it is worth your time I would say it's worth your time yes 100%. and it doesn't take up a lot of your time because it is very short mm-hmm. yeah so, yeah Nice. And there are like fantastic audiobooks for it too. So yes. if you want to actually read it. Um, one, mm-hmm. of, one of my favorite quotes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I was telling Emma before. Oh, it's, okay. it's like one of the quotes that I read and I just laugh so hard because I just find it so funny. Um, it's from the first day. It's, um, you may be an undigested bit of beef, a blot of mustard, a crumb of cheese, a fragment of underdone potato. There's more of gravy than of grave about you, whatever you are. <laughs> I, I love it because he's like just denying the fact that there is a ghost right in front of him. <laughs> his dead partner. He's like, no. I like how often does this happen to you. <laughs> exactly. Like, oh, bad digestion again. I'm just, uh, you know summoning my late my late partner <laughs> yeah. yes. oh my god oh so good yeah. i know i think like the entire book is just like the fa- a fantastic quote um mm. Mm. oh yeah another one of my favorites i mean gonna butcher it but it's um what I forgot what I forgot what the first part was but it's um like someone I'm gonna butcher it but it's the the end of it is um that lightens the burden of another do you know that quote um Mm -hmm. I'm trying to think of the beginning I can like hear it in my head but I don't know how exactly it goes but um Yes. On the first line. Wait, yeah. Like, wait, it's, um, it's gonna rock. <laughs> just make it up. I'm gonna... <laughs> mm. Yeah. Uh, down in the West, the setting sun had left a streak of fiery red, which glared upon the desolation for an instant. Mm. Yeah. Absolutely love it. And it made me so Oh, she found it. I found it. No one is useless in this world. Oh. Lightens the burden of another. Yes, thank you. <laughs> yes. Oh, so many people knew. Nice. Oh, good. I couldn't think of the beginning part. That is so nice. Where is Willow, Carolyn? Is oh, she? Willow is downstairs. <laughs> she's she's here not here physically but Mm -hmm. downstairs (laughs) yeah oh my gosh so many of you knew it thank you (laughs) I really like oh just the one that I think when I first read it and was hearing about Scrooge I was like wow that does it so good it was just darkness Mm. is cheap or something Mm. Um, Oh yeah, yes, darkness is cheap and then yeah. yes, oh my or, god. 
Um, I should have liked, I do confess, to have had the lightest license of a child and yet to have been man enough to know its value. Mm. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. So nice. <gasps> so good. I feel like we're, oh no, we're next year we're reading um, some different Christmas ones of yes. Dickens. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, and um, there's going to be an updated like announcement video and schedule and all of the information for next year's Dickens vs. Tolstoy of 2022. Um, so because I know I, we've gotten a lot of questions asking like which books we're reading and when certain books are being read. So that will all be available to you very, very soon. Yeah. So, no worries. Yeah. This one is nice. Oh, yeah. Oh. What is the next? Um, the next books we're reading is um, Tolstoy. Yes, Tolstoy. It's The Raid and <laughs> Sevastopol. Is, so, is that how you say yeah. it? Yes. Sevastopol? I think it's Sev Sevastopol. Sevastopol. Okay. I think it's Sevastopol. the Sevastopol stories and The Raid, yeah. which um, I'm going to be providing a list of like available editions that you can get it from but I do think that you can also find them for free online mm -hmm. which is the great thing about classics so yeah yes. yeah oh my gosh um I don't know if if much has changed I think it's just rearranging the books into a better order <laughs> yeah like some months are definitely different from like the first draft yeah of our schedule mm -hmm. um yeah because i feel like yeah. yeah we're trying to focus more on because nothing about dickens is really changing it, except no. i think i misplaced one of the works okay. out of chronological order um but for tolstoy i think we were trying to focus less on the nonfiction and more on the fiction because i feel like it's more fair because we're reading all of dickens's major f you know fiction works to read Tolstoy nonfiction, I feel like it would be beneficial to read them maybe on the side or if you're so inclined. I, I don't know. I think I might have put one of his nonfictions. Um, mm -hmm. But I do feel like trying to read his major shorter works alongside Dickens's fiction. So like fiction with fiction. Yeah. 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 And most of them are short stories now. Um, yeah. Which will be nice. I think pretty much all of them some of them are like novella I guess you can yeah. consider them as novellas yeah yeah oh my gosh yeah yeah there is a penguin black there are a bunch of penguin black spines for Tolstoy so that a lot mm -hmm. of the stories we're reading are in so if you want to get all of those um which I believe is the links that I have yeah yeah because I use them and I bought them okay <laughs> so, yeah to get they're two different like penguin editions yeah um black spine so mm -hmm. yeah i don't know what are your guys' new year's plans are we doing well i guess it's already new year's for a lot of you um yeah and i guess you're here so <laughs> <laughs> your plans <laughs> yeah um oh this is so nice oh january 1st yeah like exactly oh. a year ago oh my gosh wait we did it january 1st mm -hmm. oh So oh, yeah, we were going to talk about everything. We we're going to rank our... Oh, uh, yes, yes. So if you guys... If oh, Mary read our you, yeah. What? Oh, yeah. So Mary, you know us well. <laughs> um, we were going to try and rank all of the books that we've read this year. But I feel like, should we do them all together? Or should we break them up into like Dickens and Tolstoy? Like rank them against each other or separately? I feel like all together. Okay. What Ooh. do you think? Yeah. Okay, least favorite, go. Pickwick Papers. <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> Resurrection. Resurrection. Oh, wow. Come on. Okay, you knew. You knew that. I mean. Also, what is your what is your least favorite, too? Um, oh, yeah. Everyone, if you want to put down, like, a ranking system of all of your books from. Or, like, your favorite. Favorite. Yeah. That'd be amazing. Yeah. Um, I suspect War and Peace is Emma's favorite. Hmm. I suspect the same thing. 
<laughs> um, oh, what comes after that? Okay, you have the Pickwick Papers. Mm-hmm. Next. How many did we read? Wait. I feel like I need to write it down. Hold on. I think my next least favorite is probably the Pickwick Papers. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, hold on. I'm writing it down because my brain. Uh, yeah. Pickwick. Um, Pickwick. I'm putting them in order. Wait, Pickwick, Oliver Twist, Nicholas Nickleby, and then A Christmas Carol were Dickens. Mm-hmm. Hmm. And then... Um, oh, Childhood Boyhood Youth. Oh, I always forget about Childhood Boyhood Youth. I know, and it was the first one. First one. Oops. <laughs> okay, and then War and Peace. Yeah. And then Anna Karenina. And, and then Resurrection. Resurrection. Okay. Okay, now I'm good. Okay. okay. Go for it. Um, okay, Pickwick is my least favorite. Then probably, <laughs> probably Oliver Twist. Okay. Yeah. What's yours? Oh, Pickwick. Resurrection, Pickwick. Okay. Uh, da, 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 Oliver Twist. Okay. Um, my next one is probably Resurrection. My next one is probably Childhood Boyhood Youth. Oh, wow. Okay. My next one <clears throat> is Nicholas Nickleby. My next one is Nicholas Nickleby. Ooh, okay. Um, then Childhood Boyhood Youth. <sighs> then A Christmas Carol. Oh, <gasps> wow. We only have two more, though, yeah. right? Am I counting okay? Anna Karenina, War and Peace, A Christmas Carol. Yeah. Yeah, cool. Um, okay, my third favorite is probably A Christmas Carol. Well, big surprise. Oh. <laughs> uh, and then Anna Karenina. Okay. Mine's War and Peace. <gasps> Excuse, War and Peace. Me. Excuse me. No, I love that. I like that. I like it's different. I like it's yeah. different. And then, and then listener yeah. number one. Anna Karenina. Of course. <laughs> um, yeah, Anna Karenina. Oh, yes. favorite. Okay, okay. Oh, really? Wow. Um, not a massive. Yeah, yeah. I don't think really a lot of us were. Yeah. Yeah. War and mm. peace. Yay! War and peace was like. <sighs> yeah just a, an entire journey so but but I feel like I can't not I don't know anyway that wasn't English although Pickwick yeah oh you didn't mm-hmm. click on yes I did um I still like remember it so much and I still like laugh mm-hmm. about mm-hmm. the hat thing oh my god oh my god yes I know I feel like I don't know if you ever I feel like that's what we're talking about like in retrospect you really enjoyed a book more than actually yeah, like, while you're reading it which I think yeah. is such a funny experience yeah yeah oh nice, nice. yes yeah. us too <laughs> yeah War and Peace was just like I just can't believe we read that this year and like I'm just oh that was like definitely oh. really amazing, for sure. I need to oh hold on <laughs> I need to get um something. Oh no. <gasps> oh no. <laughs> oh, you don't have to get oh, everyone. No. Look what Emma did. It's Andre's version. <laughs> so I don't know, maybe some of you guys. I I mentioned this in my book haul that I just uploaded. Yes. <laughs> um Emma ripped out everything that wasn't Andre. Because I joked to her, and she remembered that I want a War and Peace edition that's only Andre, and now I have it. <laughs> Every time I hold it, I'm like it's so funny because it I'm, looks so weird. I don't know, right? I should have created like an alternate cover or something. Oh, oh my god! Put his face on. Oh, <gasps> missed opportunity. <laughs> I can do it. I can always put one on. Just um, um, James Norton. That's his name, right? James Norton. Huh? James Norton is the one that plays Andre in the BBC. Oh, is that his name? I'm pretty sure. I don't know. I didn't see it. I didn't watch it. 
It wasn't my original. Emma, can we watch it together? Yeah. Okay. (laughs) Yeah. I could so go for a rewatch. I watched um, some of the first episode. Oh, you did? I did, yeah. Um, But then they removed it from Amazon or something, so I didn't get to watch the rest of it. Yeah. Please, Carolyn, do not do this. (laughs) Oh, my God. (laughs) I feel like it would be bigger than Andre's section, honestly. (laughs) It's so funny. Oh, my God. Oh, I have to now. Yes, James Norton. Yes. Okay. Okay. Um, Yeah, put his face right on it. I feel like he's in a sizable chunk, though. Like, that's pretty cool. He is. I know. And I mean... I don't want to spoil War and Peace or anything, but like I was shocked that there is um wasn't yeah. left of him. And then you can kind of see like the... <laughs> Yes, I know. But honestly, if I do a reread, I honestly want to reread it like that way. Yes. Just to see how it is, because I feel like it would yeah. be a really funny experience. You can do that. You'll get like weird um flashes because like I only yeah. left the pages that mentioned like that have his name on it oh okay about him so like it's not a cohesive yeah so you. how did you do this did you just go through every single page the dedication like <laughs> the actual dedication <laughs> I can't get over it oh my gosh I think you're the only person I, I know didn't, that. I don't have an exacto knife so I asked, hands. yeah, I asked Emma. I was like, "How did you do this? Did you have a razor blade?" And she was like, "No, I ripped them out." <laughs> like, this is the neatest ripping of pages oh. I've ever seen in my entire life. <clears throat> so <clears throat> amazing! <sighs> True, it was really nice. I got to like go back through the book and like mm. it was like yeah. very fast speed read, but mm-hmm. like. Oh, it was so nice. Yeah. I just can't believe we read. I felt like, like, I still remember the vlog I filmed when, oh my gosh, I think it was like literally the start of 20, it was before the pandemic when like you gifted me War and Peace. Do you remember that? It was like in oh my God. February or something. Yes. We like didn't have the book club. We were just like talking about it. Um, And you just like sent me it. And then I was like, I cannot, I don't think I'll ever read this. Like, I'm so injured. I can't read blah 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 and then yeah. this year, I just can't yeah. believe it. Oh, <laughs> oh. yeah and like to have it just be such it was just like an experience like oh my god yeah amazing oh yeah no 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 I bought an extra one. Oh my gosh I would oh <laughs> not touch mine <laughs> yeah she mutilated it and then sent it to me <laughs> yeah yeah, I just can't believe we read it. Oh my gosh. I know. And then like I think for me, like rereading Anna Karenina was such a crazy experience because yeah. I felt like I had such a different um reaction to it than I did the first time because the first time it was like discovering a love for Tolstoy and mm-hmm. then reading it, like I knew that it was my favorite book, obviously. <clears throat> so it was yeah. like looking for different things that I missed. And one of the things that I still think about today is how much my opinion changed of Karenin. Because mm. when I first read it, I was like, I despise this man. He is horrible. And then at the second time reading it, I was thinking to myself just completely differently. Like, the position he's put in, of course he's going to react that way. Like, yes, I don't always agree with the things that he says and does, but mm-hmm. it's completely justified in yeah. the situation, yeah. I think. so. Yeah. Yeah. And Levin. Returning to Levin. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Aww. Aww. That's so nice. Yeah, this has been so fun. Oh my gosh. We've been thinking about this for forever. Forever. Forever, forever. <laughs> I don't even remember how we first watched the original debate. Um I watched it first and then I told you about I it. Tell me about it, yeah. Mm-hmm. And then we were asking each other over Skype, like, oh, well, who do we prefer? And then remember, we didn't say anything. And we were like, one, two, three. And we both had to say who we preferred. And then I was saying, and then we both said Tolstoy. Yeah. 
which just just pointing that out. <laughs> and then I was saying, or we both said that, well, we can't, we don't feel like confident enough to say Tolstoy because we haven't read enough from each. So imagine if, I think it was just going to be like a you and me thing, like only yeah. the two of us, we weren't going to turn yeah. it into a book club. We were just going to read all of their works to try and figure out who we preferred. And then we were like, wait, what if we make it a book club? So, yeah. And now year one is done. I feel like we're in uni, like a four-year uni. And it's like, oh, yeah. like we're no longer freshmen. <laughs> yeah. We are. Yep. Yeah, that's just so funny because Dickens, like, I, before I, no, I was into reading, like, I was reading classics and stuff, but I had never touched Dickens until, um, mm. like, the pandemic when I listened to Great Expectations, like, right at the start. Um, and before that, I had this awful idea of Dickens. I was like, oh, it's so boring. It's way too long. I, I like, I could never read that. Um, I don't remember how old I was or whatever. But then I listened to Great Expectations and I was like, you freaking idiot. What are you doing? <laughs> um, yeah, like. I remember when you were reading it and I remember thinking, oh, I have to read it now because you loved it so much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then didn't you have your mom read it? Yeah, my mom. <laughs> yeah, and then you you had the copy with like the red or pink flowers. Yeah, 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 the premiere premiere edition. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. But why does that feel like forever ago? Doesn't that it's feel been like a rough time? couple of years? We're not gonna I mean, lie. <laughs> well, wasn't that twenty twenty? Yeah. Yeah. Like I was in quarantine. We were in quarantine. Yep. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. How did you guys discover? I don't know. What is your Dickens Tolstoy origin story? Yes. Is it the book club? Maybe it's the book club. Oh, maybe. Mm -hmm. oh my gosh. Yeah, two years ago almost. Wow, two years That's ago. That's crazy. How is that two years ago? I don't know. <laughs> I, don't know. I feel like so much has changed, but also nothing has changed. No, so much has changed. So much has changed. Mm. Wow. <laughs> what are your guys' New Year's? Mm. Resolutions, plans. Do you have reading plans? Yeah, what are you doing? Are also, you doing? Um, did we want to... What? Oh. Yeah. Wow, nice. Oh, wow. That's amazing. I can't imagine my sixth grade self doing that. <laughs> oh. Mm. Wow. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Yeah. I know. If oh. you told me... Oh, let's see. Sorry. <laughs> oh, no, that's okay. There's so many. If you told me... If you told you what? Um that I was going to read Anna Karenina and it was going to become my favorite book and then I was going to read War and Peace in a Tolstoy book club like two years ago I would have been like are you insane <laughs> yeah okay um, oh wow. yeah yeah I didn't read Tolstoy till like the beginning of 2020 is that true Wait, read who? Tolstoy. Yeah, I think I remember your on a crown in a journey like so much more than mine. Like oh, I have like, <laughs> snapshots in my brain of your Instagram stories. Oh, every single night. Every night I would. With your reading light. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Melon edition. Well, I remember that was like one of my busiest semesters at uni, and I was working part-time on the weekends so I would like go into the city for school and I lived in New York City and yeah. uh, dorm because that's where my school was and oh, I would right. take the train home every weekend to go to work here on Long Island and uh and I would read the I would read Anna Karenina on the train and I read the train scene on the train so when Tolstoy's describing that is an experience I think I will remember it till I'm like 900 years old <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> um, he was like describing the sounds and the passengers and like everything of uh, of the scene. Yeah. And I would and then oh god, I just 
It was the most crazy experience because I didn't plan on reading that scene actually on a train. It just happened that way. Crazy. That's amazing. That's amazing. Yes. Oh. Oh, and all everyone's plans and stuff. Oh, Ooh, which book will be the first read this new year? Ooh, that's going to be the Sevastopol stories and the Raid by Tolstoy. What about generally? Oh, <laughs> I think I've never read that question. <laughs> Those are the book club books. <laughs> um, that's a great question. I don't know. I'm I'm currently listening to Mrs. Dalloway. <gasps> but I don't think I'm going to finish it t- today. Yeah. Oh today. my God. I so, love it. You like it? Yeah. Wow. It's hard to listen to, I think. Maybe I should read it. It. Yeah. Because There's it's so like, much. yeah. And yeah, it's, it's very so much stream of consciousness. So I feel like Virginia Woolf's writing is like, you know, you have to adjust to it. So I don't yeah, know. Absolutely. Because I don't think I've ever listened to an audiobook of her work. Wow. Thanks read more books mm. amazing finally read great expectations yes oh start my annotating my books that's so fun yes. this year oh no next year next year Ooh. Um, as in in a few hours next year <laughs> <laughs> yeah oh my gosh there's so many oh oh this is the wrong one you know we'll see <laughs> wait are you did i know that oh yes i did i read it i loved it Really? Loved it, yeah. Okay. Oh. Wait, no, no. I'm reading a series of unfortunate events right now. For the first time? Yes. <gasps> what? I didn't know this. Yes. <laughs> no, because I just started like two days okay, ago and I already read the first two books. Oh, my oh, God. Really like you? I am adoring them. I grew up with the um, the Jim Carrey, the series of unfortunate oh events. Oh, my Yeah. But I never read the books. And recently I was watching a um, a talk on YouTube between Chris Van Osberg, who is like the author and illustrator of the Polar Express and oh. Jumanji and a bunch of other children's books. He's one of my favorite illustrators. And he was having a talk with Daniel Handler, who's, you know, uh, Lemony Snicket. Um, oh, oh yes. yes. Um, <laughs> he's he his spoiled literary it for representative. <laughs> And um and also um Mac Barnett and they were having a discussion about um like their different writing and hearing Daniel Handler speak, he is so funny. He is so funny. And um he was talking about Lemony Snicket. Um and yeah, I was I was watching that video. I'll send you a link, Emma, because it's I mean they're just talking about like writing and illustrating, but it was so great and I have been wanting to read a, the series of Unfortunate Events books for a while. And then after watching that, I was like, okay, I have to now. So I was listening to them on audiobook. And um, Daniel Handler or Lemony Snicket narrates the audiobooks, but I couldn't find those. But on Libby, I found, and on YouTube, there's the Tim Curry narrations. Yeah. Okay. So I've been, I listened to. The Bad Beginning and um, The Reptile Room, which is the first two. And now I think that might be my first book of 2022. Aww. Yeah, that's really funny. I have never looked into the Lemony Snicket <gasps> lore. Oh, my God. I was just very content to leave it at like Lemony yeah. Snicket is just some. That's some really funny. real person. <laughs> mm-hmm. Well, yeah. um, at the end of so on YouTube, there's the audiobook you can find of the bad beginning, and at the end of it, there's an interview with Daniel Handler and the person that is like the audio from the audiobook company, okay. and he like knocks on Daniel Handler's door and asks for Lemony Snicket, and he's like, "Oh, Lemony Snicket can't like is not here right now," and he like talks about Lemony Snicket as if he is his literary representative, and it is just the oh best God. thing ever. That's so, so funny. Yeah. Oh my God. Ooh! Oh, that's awesome! Wow! Wow! Okay, there's so many. Oh my god! Reading more kids' books. Read a little life. Oh my Ooh. gosh! I don't. I'm not ready for that. I'm not yeah, ready. I don't know if I'll ever read that book. <gasps> I tried to watch this. I just. I don't like Neil Patrick. Right I now. tried to watch it too, and twice I've tried to watch it, and I just couldn't get into it. But me neither. We'll no. try again. 
Um, da, 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 da. Yeah, that'd be so fun. I want to reread all the books I read as a teenager over 20 years ago next year. That would be crazy. Oh, oh. whoop. Mm. Yes. Oh my God, wait. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited for you. Me too. I literally just. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I read I read all of them except for the <laughs> last two. I don't know what? why. I just, what? in elementary school, I could never get my hands on them. And then I oh grew up. Let, no, let me sneak it is a real person. Daniel Handler is just his literary representative. Okay, thank you. <laughs> I never wanted to find out. No, I found out. No, oh, my God. No, because if you ever listen to Daniel Handler talk about Lemony Snicket, he is like dead set on everyone knowing that Lemony Snicket's a real person. So He's not who I pictured at all. I just looked him up. Oh, really? I think just, I don't know. I am, I am not here to confirm or deny that he is a real person. Okay. okay. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Hassle in the clouds. Oh my gosh. I just finished that a couple of days ago. It's the one that Mary and I were talking about. Oh, oh okay. yeah. mm. So good. So good. Oh, that's amazing. Oh. Oh my god. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, book genre. I really want to read more. Um, I really want to read more nonfiction. Like I just mm. I'm such specific I mean, like, Uh I want I really want to read. I just got in, it's called The Body Keeps the Score. It's mm. all about like <laughs> trauma in your brain and stuff. Oh, wow. Um, and I don't know. I just want to. Re- I'm in such a nonfiction mood right now, which is That's very awesome. rare. But like when I'm in that mood, I'm just like, just want to read so much nonfiction. I don't know. Yeah. What about you? Still, still grinding um, the Russians. <laughs> oh, <that's laughs> <it>. <laughs> yes. <I'm not> <laughs> Um, I really want to continue on reading more middle grade because, oh, yeah. yeah, like um, it really is helping so much with my writing and it's inspiring me a lot. And I think um, I'm so focused on the classics that I do want to, in 2022, have more of an even balance between like classics and mm-hmm. non-classics, just because whether they're like middle grade or um, adult contemporary or whatever, um, just because I feel like this past year, uh, at, especially at the end of it, I feel like all of the classics were kind of trudging me down. Mm, so it's a lot. Yeah, I need a bit more of a balance. So that's yeah. probably my main goal. That is good. Um, I have a ton. Yeah, a ton of films to catch up on. Mm. Yeah, we still have to watch mm. and together. I know. I need to watch. Can we please? Yes. Like when? Like, <laughs> Not tonight. Because tonight's you know. Yeah. <laughs> um read more classics Mm. finish great expectations Mm. playing guitar poetry yeah I have really gotten out of reading poetry so Um, have I it's been so long Mm -hmm. maybe I'll get back oh oh that makes me happy (laughs) I'm so glad Lots of fantasy. Mm, nice. I want to see you read a fantasy book. For as long as I've known you, I don't think I've ever seen you read a fantasy book. I have read a fantasy. Like, like I mean, like I want to see you read. Oh, okay. Well, you can pick it up for me. Dragons, you know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, actually, I am. Um, not last night, but the night before, I started watching The Witcher on Netflix my mug oh my god really it's so good i am hooked i'm already on season two and i so i watched like the first eight Whoa, episodes. yeah i watched the first eight episodes in like 24 hours carolyn <laughs> i know because like normally um i work like a lot during the day and then at, at some point i have to cut myself off yeah, and yeah. Like, okay, you're done and then i started watching the witcher on a whim and um yeah how did that happen well I heard so many people talking about it and then the new season came out and I was like I want to try watching it um because I remember when the first season came out I was still living with my roommate in the city and she was watching it 
And so I was like watching like a little bit as she watched it. And I really, I was intrigued by the storyline. Um, so I don't know if I would actually read the books, but so I do like fantasy stuff. It's just, I think I have to be in the right mood. Or, yeah, every once in a while. Yeah. But if you want to pick out a fantasy book for me to read, feel free <laughs> and I'll read it. Okay. Three Shakespeare plays. Ooh, I really want to read Macbeth this year. I have like put off that book for like three years. That play yes. three years in a row. That was so good. And I still haven't read it. It's the white hair for me. <laughs> oh my gosh. I am so far back in the comments. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> three years behind. I'm like, wait, what? What? I was like, I'm not looking at the most. I'm like three years oh behind in the comments. Okay. Um wait, Lucy, you said you really disliked the first book. Are you talking about The Witcher? Really disliked the first book. Uh, uh Blood of Elves. Blood of Elves. Did you, did you read it, Emma? No, I have it on my shelf. I want to, but <gasps> um, what if we read it together? Okay. That'd be fun. Right, put it down. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go get my myself a coffee. Wait. I didn't know. Well, I kind of knew. Oh, wow. I would love that. I didn't realize they had. Do they have, like, the publications, like a regular book of the scripts? I would love to get my hands on that. So cool. Oh, my gosh. Oh, Lucy said yes. Okay. Okay. This is something I do want to start next year as well. Ooh. Yeah. That's, that's hefty. Yeah, I have the first two on my shelf. Mm. Um. And I have like the audiobook coming in soon, but I don't, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. High fantasy. Mm. Mm. I feel like I wanted, when I first started like reading a lot because of BookTube, I was yeah. reading so many genres. Like I was reading fantasy, YA, classics, children's, contemporary. Like I was reading everything, plays, yeah. poetry. And now I feel like I've gotten into a major rut of like reading specific genres. So I feel like I, for 2022, I would like you to bring back down to that. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because I feel like there is so many amazing books that from, um, you know, every genre. So definitely. I actually read Devil in the White City um Ooh. by eric larson right um yeah i read that in 2020 question mark yes. mm -hmm. um we're talking about murakami too i really want to mm -hmm. read um norwegian wood really soon oh yeah 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 <gasps> yes let's all read weed oh. <laughs> That's weed real of time, yes. Um, yeah. We'll just create like a million book clubs and then I'll read them together. <laughs> yes, yeah, someone recommended this to me and I put it on, on a list because Ooh. I really want to read ice. Like I'm just oh, obsessively good. hoarding winter things, like a mm -hmm. winter lunatic. So yeah. Um yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Norwegian Wood is so good. Someone's, yeah. yeah. I haven't read that since high school. I would reread that with you probably. Oh, okay. Oh I think I'm going to order a copy soon, so. Okay. Learn Portuguese. Oh, my gosh. So many of you guys are doing so many cool things. I love that. <gasps> Rilke. Yes. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, I, I still have to start our, our <laughs> read. <laughs> I started. I've been going really... Oh really slowly with it but because we're buddy reading um the book of hours with mm -hmm. lucy and mary so yeah yeah so good. okay maybe we should start the last wish is um a short story collection that technically comes before okay yeah i know that they aren't yeah like the publication order isn't mm -hmm. in so order. maybe we should i don't know okay. that'd be fun <gasps> the entire anna green cable <gasps> yes Carolyn, where are you with this? Have you finished them all? Oh, yeah. Oh, I, I went oh, through them the first time I read them. I read them back to back. <laughs> Even like um, like past the three? Yeah. The all eight. <laughs> I went through all eight in like a month. I remember one. <laughs> no, 
my favorite is probably the third one, Anne of Avonlea. Probably. Oh my gosh. You haven't, you've only read the first one, right? Mm-hmm. I know everything that happens though because I watched um we used to have the old VCRs of oh, um, oh what's I think it's from the is it from the 80s Meg what Meg Fellows is that her name yeah 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 that one um, I haven't so seen that adaptation oh it's the best one oh, oh. my god um, I love Anne with an E. That's the that's the version that I've watched but the, it's not like completely faithful to the books it's more okay. takes more of a modern twist on it but okay. I like tried. I watched. I tried to watch the first episode of Anne with an E, and I just got to the part in the forest where Gilbert's like A, <laughs> and you were like exit. <laughs> oh my god. Um, oh, oh my gosh. Yeah, I do really want. I'll probably um, probably start reading it again in the spring. Yeah. Um, I just feel like that was such a good time to read it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's also. I feel like Anne of Green Gables is also great for the winter too, though. Yeah, it's just good for any. any it is because it has yeah the seasons yeah. are such like a prevalent aspect. Yeah, of the story. So I really I have this on my list, and I know Ooh. they talk about Rilke, and I'm just like oh. I've really been wanting to watch Jojo Rabbit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm taking Russian lessons. <gasps> Where? Amazing. From how much <laughs> can we join <laughs> yeah yeah oh crushing oh i know yeah i was supposed to go to um i had a trip planned to go to quebec in okay. january um like via quebec but it's canceled That's so, so quebec is doing really badly right now i hope i don't know if anyone's from quebec but i hope you guys are okay Oh, wow. Yeah, I know. It's been rough. It's been rough. What else do you guys say? I'm, they're so... Oh, this is so fun. <laughs> new game? Yes. Ooh. Yeah. I know. I I was it's, really, it's really fun. It's good. Yeah. I was watching the, the series and I thought, like, no wonder this is a video game. Because I feel like the noises that they make when... Um, Geralt, like, you know, kills monsters. I'm like, this feels like I'm watching a video game. But, you know... I, I love it. It's so good. Oh my gosh. What was your favorite book that you had to read in high school? Ooh, probably To Kill a Mockingbird. To Kill a Mockingbird? Uh, da, 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 da. Or The Great Gatsby. I really oh, that. Great Gatsby. Yeah. I also read Wuthering Heights. <gasps> Um, that was for like, it wasn't like prescribed. It was for like a reading. Mm. What are they called? Oh my gosh, what were they called? Not a reading project. I what am- is a reading project called? It's called a book report. Oh, <laughs> I'm reading. Project. What are you trying to say? <laughs> it's for like a book report. Um, okay. Probably Great Gatsby, though. That was amazing. Yeah. I don't even know. We had to read To Kill a Mockingbird. Mm-hmm. Um, I, also, mm-hmm. I don't know. What did you read? Well, two of my least favorites that I had to read in school were um, The Catcher in the Rye and you read The Lord Catcher in the Rye in high school. Yep. And Lord of the Flies. I couldn't oh, read that either. But I, I feel like it would be really interesting to go back and reread them now yeah. to yeah. see if my opinion would change. Yeah. But, yeah. Um, we had to read Shakespeare every year and I hated it. Like I hated it with a passion. Worse. So you hated what? Like every single year in high school in English class, you had to read a Shakespeare play. Like the whole class. Oh, really? um, it was just, I don't know. Mm. yeah well yeah probably great gatsby i don't know i do too lucy if you're still here Ooh. i would love to read it with you um i listened I to the one. audiobook narrated by andy circus of the hobbit mm-hmm. incredible because it just felt like i was hearing Gollum just like tell me the story so it was amazing oh, Oh, Lucy doesn't like Catcher in the Rye at all. I'm so glad. I'm so glad you agree. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, everyone loves Anne with me. So good. I know. I feel like you have to get maybe try again and get through like the first two episodes or something. Yeah. Yeah, I just said that, yeah. Mm. 
Oh, this is amazing. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah. I do also want to read um, Brandon Sanderson this year. Mm -hmm. Like, ever since I started BookTube, I think, like, so many people have been screaming <laughs> to read yeah. Brandon Sanderson. Um, yeah. Where do I start if we have someone out there? If we have an, a Brandon Sanderson expert. Yes. Yes. Uh, yeah. Mm. Sorry, I'm, like, going through every single one. I'm going to. Oh, no, yes. that's fine. Canada. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, this is just going to be like, who knows? <laughs> yeah, that was our plan. It was just to talk a little bit about Christmas Carol and then like answer questions or we wanted to rank our books, which we did. So, mm -hmm. what were we talking about? Okay, Catcher in the Rye. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's the thing. Mary said the Mistborn trilogy. Everyone's saying the Mistborn? Mistborn trilogy. Okay. Okay, yes, I'm at the bottom now. Okay. Everyone's saying start with Mistborn. Mistborn? Okay. Okie dokie. <gasps> Ooh. <laughs> okay, Mistborn. 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 <laughs> Do you think you should start with Miss Warren? I think I should start with Miss Warren. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I don't know. What are your other plans for this year? What are we doing? We have the book club mm. stuff. Maybe like, we'll do, maybe we'll plan something crazy for it yeah i don't know what okay. a readathon read that would be fun that would be fun too be very fun um yeah oh happy new year's mary what oh. time is it it's like six there yeah love you mary happy new year <laughs> middle march Ooh. yes yeah amazing no. <laughs> oh, no. Sadly, no. I mean, I feel like we have at this point, but we have. What are you doing? What are you planning next year? <laughs> I don't know, Emma. <laughs> to visit you. <laughs> Honestly? Oh, I feel like it's imagine, been too long. Imagine a live show with the two of us in yeah. the same frame. You're not even that far away. It's ridiculous. I know. I know. Oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> yes. And then also in grade eight, we put on the um, play in French. That's for cool. school. Oh, it was awful. Um, <laughs> I'm sure. yeah. Wait, who did you play? We, I played um, one of the managers. <laughs> no. <laughs> it was so stupid because, like, we all got assigned a chapter in French, and so everyone was, like, different characters. Do you know what I mean? Because each chapter yeah. has the same characters in it. So yeah. then when we put it on in front of the school, everyone, like, switched people all the time. So I was, like, the director, a narrator, Christine, some other person. It was it was so weird, yeah. but I don't know why we did it that way. Hmm. It's a little odd. Um... I think, yeah, yeah. Ooh, yeah. Do it, do it. But be have some band aids, have some like <laughs> some tissues. Tissues. Maybe a therapist on. <laughs> on, on, oh, yeah. <laughs> on the yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Yeah. I feel like. Ooh. I want to get back in. Ooh. Sorry. Um, everything. I recommend reading him in chronological order, like publication order, or yeah, chronological order, because I feel like understanding Dostoevsky is so important 
to like enjoying his books. So I feel like if you start with his earliest works and then, you know, continue your reading, you'll be able to see, because all of his life events have affected his writing and have influenced his writing. So I think if you start with like The Brothers Karamazov, which is his last book, like you won't understand the intricacies. So, cause like I haven't even read it yet because I'm waiting. So I, I definitely recommend starting small and then working up. Cause the first book that I read from Dostoevsky was Crime and Punishment. And a lot of it went over my head. Yeah. So I wouldn't recommend starting with Crime and Punishment. I would probably recommend um, either um, Poor Folk or Notes from Underground or White Knights. Those are all relatively short and I think are a great introduction to his writing. So. I hope that helps. <laughs> mm-hmm. Can I just say, it has been so nice getting to hear about, mm-hmm. like, all of you this year and, like, you guys sharing your, like, whatever you're doing and your achievements and also what you're going through. It's just been yeah. so nice. And to see so many people, like, I feel like I know, obviously, I don't know you guys, but I feel yeah. like I know you guys. Yeah, because we recognize your names yeah. and your pictures, and it's, it's so, so great lovely. to see. Yeah. It's great. literally so nice. You guys come back. Yeah. Like when I started a YouTube channel, I was like, how the heck am I gonna, yeah. like, there's no way people like can develop such a good connection or like mm-hmm. know people. Yeah. Um, but you guys are like amazing. It's so, it's just so cool. Yeah. Do you remember Emma, when we had like, we both had, I think like a thousand subscribers and we were just like, like we, we, we kept saying we never felt like real booktubers. Do you remember that? Oh yeah. I just felt like an yeah. absolute Oh, I still feel like that. No, same. No, me too. So it's just like, it's just so funny to, to think about That's that. That's crazy. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Did you always want to start a YouTube channel? Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, I started a makeup channel. I posted one <gasps> video. What? <laughs> Wait, what? Put it on public right now. Wait, He's how? Talking. No. No, I think I deleted it. <laughs> what is this? What? This was in like... I was probably like 16. Okay. It was like years ago. Um, and I think it was Karen's <laughs> dark <past. laughs> Yes. Well, I always loved, like, I started, I discovered YouTube through the beauty community. Yeah, me like, too. Me too. Yeah, like, I would watch, like, makeup tutorials and get ready with me's and, like, yeah. all, all that Your stuff. Original, yeah. Exactly, yeah. And, um... And so that's, and then I, I stumbled upon the book community and it, and it just like turned into something else entirely. But yeah. my first video was a, um, a makeup tutorial. Yep. <laughs> and then I took it down. And then like two years later, I posted my first, uh, it was like my booktube newbie tag. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> How did I not know that? I don't know. That's amazing. But, oh my God. I don't know if it's like growing up, my parents always filmed my sister and I's like home videos. So we always grew up like talking to cameras. Yeah. Um, and there are videos of me when I was like 12. And I had, I think it was like one of the oldest iPhones, I mean iPods. And mm. it had like a video camera capability. And I would just film random clips of me talking. Oh my God. <laughs> and, so, and we would like go back to it. And I, I would film like my family. There's a video of me and my cousins at Thanksgiving like years ago. And I showed them recently and they were like, Carolyn, you've always been, you know, a video mm-hmm. creator. And I'm like, oh, mm-hmm. God, it's so true. So yeah. I'm yeah. Always- that was like my whole childhood. Just like making stupid videos in my basement with my neighbor yeah. <laughs> or my best friend. Um, yeah. Oh, it's crazy God. how like that develops into different things. Yeah. I would pay money for that. Um, video oh my god <laughs> which one the makeup one <laughs> yes absolutely yes I do have some videos like some like raw footage of me I would film myself on my iPad and it would be like a makeup haul so I would like go out to the store buy makeup and like talk about the makeup that I bought <laughs> I'll send I can send it to you oh my gosh yes <laughs> <laughs> just for you Emma thank you, thank you. oh my gosh that's amazing <laughs> Okay. Okay. What are we saying? We are all besties. Oh. Oh yes. Oh my God. So Was there... no. Anna Karenina's makeup. <laughs> no, there is a tag. There is. I oh, remember really? there being a, a um, 
I forgot what it was called, but it was like a bookish makeup tag. And it was like foundation, like a story with a great, like, you know, base. Or like, oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, okay. something like that. Oh my gosh. Nice. Oh. Um, I think someone, where is it? Do, 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 do. Oh, Marta, thank you. You guys have been oh. That's so crazy, crazy, That's crazy. crazy. Yes. Oh, here it is. Okay. Yes, I am still doing that. Um, no. which has been great. I just haven't made an updated video on it in a while. No. Um, but on my, I just did my January TBR and I'm going to be reading one from uh, Norway. It's the Ice Palace. Mm. I'm so long to read. It's just another winter one. Yeah. Um, it's by Tarja Vesos. I don't know if I'm saying that name correctly, but um, yeah, so I'm going to start the year off with Norway. Awesome. Um, but yeah, that's been so fun. That's also been. <laughs> I would rather. Ooh. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, no. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Do, 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 do. It is not. Um, it's like one o'clock or something. It's, it's one eleven. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I love that we're in the same time zone, Emma. That makes it so much easier. It does. <laughs> so <laughs> makes nice. our friendship very easy. So nice. Yeah. What are your plans? You're just gonna Me? chill, read. Yeah. I mean, my sister is coming over. Um, COVID is like really bad on Long Island and in New York, so all plans have been canceled, and uh, so many people, like so many people that I know, have it. So. Um, mm -hmm. we're just like trying to lay low and watch I don't know if you guys have like the you, like on the TV you watch like New Year's Rock and Eve <laughs> is that the one with the ball drop yeah yeah yeah, yeah. we watch yeah. like it too <laughs> okay <laughs> yeah so we're gonna watch the ball drop um, and we always have uh, like a vegetable platter and like cheese and crackers. My my mom makes this um mushroom soup, so oh, I can't eat a lot of it because not all of it's vegan. But they have like their their food that they have to have every year. Um, so we're just gonna like chill out, and I'll probably watch some Witcher while <laughs> while oh, watching. Oh my gosh! <laughs> the ball drop. Yeah, that's funny. I've never actually seen. We always. Like, usually I go to, like, you know, a neighbor's house and we have, like, a neighborhood. Or, like, that was, like, my childhood. We would have big neighborhood um, parties or whatever. And they'd always put the ball drop on. But I never – don't think I've actually ever seen the ball drop. Because I, I don't, like, ever look at the TV when it hits, like uh, – That's well, true. I'm very confused yeah. about, like, where does it drop? It's where in the it square. Yeah, I know. At the top of the building, it's just on, like, a, a big pole. pole. And it's, like, at the top and then it just, like, goes down. <laughs> Like slowly or does it go like very fast? Oh, uh, slowly. <laughs> oh. Okay, so I don't know how to okay. Yeah. I'm like, I've never seen it. Yeah. yeah. Anyway. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, happy birthday. Oh, happy birthday. Hmm. Yeah, okay, I guess. I guess. <laughs> it, no, it is. It is. <laughs> You cannot pay me enough money to go to New York City yeah. and witness the ball drop in person. No. No, I'm good. <laughs> no thank you. I'm good. Oh my god. It was so funny because um when I was younger, we would every year we would go see the the tree in Rockefeller Center. And um and I was I'm sh I'm still short, but I've always been really petite. And I would go in the city with my family and I hated it because it was always like, if you guys have ever been to New York City in Christmas time, it's like people just like sardines, like it's, they're everywhere. You can barely move. And, and me being little, um, all I saw was butts, like everybody. No. And so I would always force my dad to like put me on his shoulders or like someone to pick me up. Um, so yeah, I mean. New York at Christmas is amazing, but yeah, the ball drop is semi overrated. <laughs> and I mean, the Rockefeller Center Christmas tree is really beautiful. All the decorations are gorgeous. There are just so much people, and it's really smelly. So, <laughs> yeah, the ball drop is overrated. 
Also, I feel like the the commercialization of like the celebrities and like the performances, I really like don't watch for that, you know? So, yeah. Yeah. Because I feel like all the all the musicians that they have on, I don't really listen to. Sorry, mm -hmm. this was like a really random tangent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't Rockefeller Center. I just feel like I would mm. like pass out if I went to New York City. <laughs> I just could not. I couldn't do it. Yeah, I mean, it is a bit overwhelming. I just, I honestly don't know how you used to live there. Oh, God. That's I so know. Crazy to me. I'm so impressed <laughs> by that. Yeah. It feels like a lifetime ago, honestly, but it, it yeah. wasn't that long ago, which is crazy. Yeah. 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 The ball dropping is over. Oh no. Oh, oh, I thought you said you went and I was like, oh, you poor soul. Oh yeah, no. People, yeah, no, people oh, wear no. um, diapers oh, because like oh, to, no. to go to the bathroom no, because it's no. so crazy. Yeah. No, yeah, no. Oh Dick yeah, everyone was always, is, is he still alive? Dick Van Dyke? Oh, oh, um. Dick Van Dyke is still alive. Are you thinking about um, Dick Clark? Yes, yes, that yes, guy. Dick Clark, yeah. He's he alive? Oh, okay. Because yeah. I always remember that, that he was on there. Yeah. Um, my, what are my plans? I think I'm going to oh, yeah. my grandma's for dinner. Oh, nice. Um, just for a little bit. And then tonight I'm going to have my best friends over and we're going to have a sleepover. Oh, that's be nice. so fun. I know. Um, yeah, so it'll be fun. We'll probably play board games or something. Um, yeah, very competitive board games. What kind of board games? Um, I think we're gonna do a Ticket to Ride. Ooh, um, okay. Never seen that. I get very stressed out. We all get very stressed. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, and then also one of my best friends is bringing <laughs> a soap making kit. A soap? Soap. Soap. Okay. And we're going to make soap. <laughs> yeah, I mean, friendship One. in the time of COVID. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> Let's make some soap together. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so we so should all wear, I just looked over and saw we should all wear diapers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, my God. Yeah, tickets are, oh, my gosh. Number one tilting game, but... <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah we'll probably I don't know maybe we'll make food or something yeah <laughs> <laughs> oh my god so yeah nice that'll be someone fun. asked where I went to school um NYU Cornell oh, Columbia <laughs> or Dartmouth oh I wish Dartmouth. I'm not that smart <laughs> no um I went to art school so I went to the Fashion Institute of Technology um, I went for fashion design, and then I switched my major to illustration, and then I got my minor in writing. Dang. Yep, that's me. <laughs> oh, hope making kit. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Exactly. You no know, one was telling you about love. I was like joking with you love about the time. Yeah, yeah, color uh, COVID. Yeah, um, I was on Netflix and they I saw I think it's like a stupid rom-com or something called Love in the Time of COVID. No, I think it was a Netflix thing. I'm not sure, but I like you yeah. predicted it. I mean, I feel like you got to take advantage of that. Exactly. Um, These are great opportunities. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But. Yes. Yeah. One of my best friends, she got like a kit for Christmas. Mm -hmm. So. <laughs> soap yeah oh my gosh yeah i don't know uh um, it's no it's a well i guess technically it's a major it's called like an honors mm. specialization but it is a major mm. yes do you have minors we do yeah okay. yeah um yeah i was originally doing two majors but you mm. know then i Talking head, like a so things changed. Um, but yeah, and yeah, I oh yeah, I already told Carolyn, but like school's gonna be all online, 
yeah permanently like for the rest of the year no so far they only said the first month okay um, I'm just nervous about it because I've never done really zoom school mm. so I liked it honestly you liked it okay yeah well, cause, like, yeah no commuting and I have all my like supplies here and I could just like not have to worry about well also like walking to campus lugging all of my stuff was just like the biggest hassle so true yeah yeah Yeah. it's not that bad okay good 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 I don't know why I just think like the anxiety part of like if they (laughs) I just hate icebreakers like please don't do it well you do them no matter what right like wait you don't do them in person no <gasps> oh wow not usually no yeah well we we had them no matter what oh <laughs> yeah I, I know just, and I just spend the whole time sitting there like I'm so uninteresting what do I say <laughs> I just my heart beats so fast I know I'm like, this is so stupid I make videos on the internet mm-hmm. there are hundreds of people watching right now yeah. but if I have to speak in class I'm like oh <laughs> I suddenly forget I know brain yeah. things like what? Yeah. I don't know what a junior is, actually. Uh, it's your third year. Oh, yes. Okay, mm-hmm. cool. Cool, cool. Yeah, freshman, sophomore, junior, senior. Freshman, sophomore, junior, senior. Junior, senior. I am an yeah, alumni. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so weird. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm worried about. It is way too much screen time. That is, yeah, I mean, there are, like, pros and cons, but I think, like, the the benefits for me outweighed the, the you know, negatives. Okay. okay. I mean, different for everybody, obviously. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, this is amazing. Hmm. Oh, that's so incredible. Can we, uh, you know what it's about? <laughs> Hmm? tell us more please what is the book about oh yes and yours too how's yours going I thought I saw something else but it's going well okay going cool. well. yeah things are in the works I I um I had an original idea and then while I was like in the process of of you know planning it out I figured out that it would probably work better like in a different format so like a children's picture book series instead of like a one novel um but I want to focus and then like I wrote this short story for my one of my writing classes and I loved it and my professor really liked it and it was just like you know I just was so happy with it but I never did anything with it Mm -hmm. because I didn't know like where I wanted to take it Mm -hmm. and then after trying to like basically all of my ideas are like surrounding one main idea um and so I had I I decided to like put the first one that I had to the side that would work more as like a children's picture book series and focus more on like my novel that I have in mind where it's taking the story that I wrote um for that class and kind of like turning it into something else so I'm very very Mm -hmm. excited for it um but yeah it's going well yeah (laughs) yes that's amazing yeah very happy oh this sounds cool what they're gonna end up doing with their lives ah ooh, very relevant and relatable true you can eat breakfast Mm. and you can do it in your pajamas and no one will know or no one will care (laughs) <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah you could wake up five minutes before class like I would <laughs> oh my gosh oh this is amazing <laughs> children's stories hmm. oh, I haven't but I want to desperately oh yes my gosh. yes I definitely want to. Hopefully in 2022. Yeah. It'll be red. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Mm-hmm. Are you INFJs? I am an INFJ. So yes. 
Emma, I, I feel like you are. I don't even remember. Mm. You should take the quiz. Let us know. I have take. Oh, I don't remember. <laughs> you are probably. I can see girly reading class. Okay. Mm, exactly. Mm. I would listen to audiobooks all the time in class. <laughs> We would meet, no we would meet, no <laughs> here's the thing it was all studio time so i would be painting for four hours oh okay cool, cool, like cool. and then my professor would say okay mute like mute yourself so that you don't hear like noise and i would just put it and he knew all my professors knew because like they, they would call on me sometimes and i wouldn't <laughs> and then i'd be like oh sorry i was listening to an audiobook and they're like oh what book oh, my God. <laughs> they're very chill Mm. I haven't the longing no mm. tell me more though also which map <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing there's no map maybe it's a it's a view of your maps <laughs> hmm Oh my god. I am teaching. Mm. Can't believe we're done. I'm I know. Sorry. Oh my god. Um, if you guys have any questions at all now oh, yeah. about like book club stuff or random stuff, um, feel free to ask so we can answer right away. Before I go get ready to make some soap. Yes. Emma has to go have dinner with her grandma and make soap and play Ticket to Ride. I have to go watch The Witcher. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. And I'm watching the Harry Potter reunion. Um, oh, I'm going to ball my eyes out. That's a big yes. <laughs> I don't know. Where, you, where can you watch it? I haven't actually looked into that. Is is it Hulu? Is that is it? We're in HBO or HBO? I don't know. One of those. I don't have those, so mm -hmm. yeah. Um, no, no. I'm on vacation from school, you mm. know, but we're not going anywhere. So yeah, no. Yeah. I have yes. no okay yeah. too. <laughs> Please be yeah, happy and safe New Year. Oh. Yes, happy New Year. <laughs> mm -hmm. ah, yes. Oh my God. He is incredible. <laughs> my mom. I. He's my mom's biggest celebrity crush. Oh my gosh! Really? Yeah. That's funny. That's funny. Yes, he's gorgeous. Oh my gosh, I decided to go back to school. Just have fun. Ooh, oh my yes. gosh, this was so much fun. Mm -hmm. And take uh, take time to yourself. Yes, like, yeah. The that last word. <laughs> yeah, because <it's, laughs> yeah, I did not do that enough. Um, yeah, make sure that you like prioritize your mental health as well as your schoolwork. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, HBO Max. Okay. Mm. Can anyone join our book club? Of course. Absolutely anyone. Crave. You know what? Maybe someone will just upload it to YouTube <laughs> yeah. illegally and then, uh, yeah. I don't know. Um, here we have them before before but i didn't have any this year um mm. or this this semester which was good mine so. were all projects so it wasn't like a exam or anything so we just had to like submit our work before mm -hmm. you did we still graduated that was good oh yes i graduated online <laughs> i didn't mind honestly we were supposed to have our graduation at radio city so that's kind of oh it's like that was cool. <laughs> that but, so cool yeah but i mean that's okay i had my family here i watched myself graduate on my on my tv 
<laughs> it was amazing. Oh my gosh. I also want to copy. Okay, you have to send me your makeup mm-hmm. video. And actually, I've seen you in your graduation account and stuff. You have. That was amazing. <laughs> um I have it actually I recently rearranged my bookshelves and stuff and then I was that you that yes I am a car <laughs> no like was that because I thought that was outside oh for me. no yeah that was you <laughs> <laughs> that's annoying okay <laughs> um, yeah if, like a... <laughs> so Emma is a car <laughs> a transformer okay um yeah I made like a oh wait movie. happy new year to India <laughs> oh happy new year okay sorry keep going this is so fun we get to have like 30 happy Yay. new years Aww. anyway yeah I really want to read latitudes of longing this year it's like mm-hmm. almost at the very top of my pile so um yeah compensation oh no Hmm. Watch it. I think it's gonna be great. Yes. So many so. Oh. The raid. Mm-hmm. Eighteen fifty-five okay. and yeah. Sevastopol is, stories. Stories. I think that's eighteen fifty-three. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. I feel like we should just have like Q and A chatty live shows all the time. Mm-hmm. So this is yeah. fun. <laughs> so nice to catch up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. One of your random comfort movies. Ooh. Uh, all of them are like book to movie adaptations. <laughs> <laughs> the first one that comes to mind for me is The Little Prince, um, the Netflix version. Because, like, mm-hmm. The Little Prince is one of my comfort books. Um, so that's definitely... I mean, I have, like, a billion comfort movies, but... Mm-hmm. Little Prince is one of my favorites. Probably, like, Lord of the Rings, but... Mm-hmm. I haven't watched that in years. Which I should also do, but... Yeah. Do you like the Phantom of the Opera movie? Um, I feel like I... Okay, I don't hate it. Mm. but because it's literally well it's not all we have there's lots of fans of the opera movie, but you mean like the musical yeah um, 2003 right oh my gosh that's so long ago yeah yeah uh, so long ago. <laughs> um yeah I don't hate it it's definitely not I don't know like it doesn't compare to me for me to like the book but um because I watched the movie first mm before and then obviously reading the book after Mm -hmm. you've got mail yes oh my god you've got mail (gasps) one of my favorite comfort movies ever star wars yeah back to the future i can make like an entire just like endless list of comfort movies Um, da, da, da. Karen oh. looks like the actress from the oh. I get that all the time. You need to be in a reboot. Oh, sure. Sign me up. Think, can we have a little sample? Oh, hell no. I have a horrible voice. No. Oh my gosh. Okay, actually, I think this is good because there you can go to, I don't know if it does the whole Oh, there's world. a website. Yeah, littlefreelibraries.org, and then it just pulls them all up um, because people usually register them on there. Mm -hmm. That's been so helpful. Um, And then literally my family is so funny. Like if they go for a walk in the city or something they and they see one, they'll (laughs) put it in their phones for me. So, yeah, that's nice. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, the Lord of the Ring movies for sure. Yeah. <gasps> yes. Yes, I'm gonna reread. Ooh. It's gotta be here. I'm gonna reread a hundred years. Um, Can I read it with you? Yes. Oh, oh my, my god. god. 
I want to make it this like big thing because so many people just. Oh my god! Wait, yes, you should totally make it like a, a read along like, or read-along. something. Yes, I will join. Yeah, I think I want to wait until after uni is done for this year. Mm-hmm. Um, and I also think it's such a perfect book to read like in the spring or summer. So yeah. that's kind of what I'm planning. But I would love to do something with it. So if anyone is like wanting to read it or reread it or have a little yeah Gabriel Garcia Marquez fan club then yes yes yeah yeah and I have the house on of the spirits um on that list too so Mm -hmm. I feel like reading my mind (laughs) oh that is so nice yeah that's amazing Mm-hmm. Yeah, Caroline, all your comfort books. Mm-hmm. I want to read them. Oh, did I filmed I filmed a video about my comfort books, but I think I should do a like another yeah. one or something. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, Woman in Gold. It's so good. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I would definitely uh, do another one. I think yeah. I did a comfort books video when. COVID started because I wanted to like you know provide myself and other people <laughs> with you know yeah way in book form yeah oh happy new year happy new year happy new year oh thank you so much for joining us this is so nice okay last few when's the next dark academia meeting okay so we have <laughs> I think it's going to be in January, right? Is it? Okay, well, now I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. I don't know if we're going to be, um, because we were reading my pick, which was the short story collection. Yes. Um, I don't know if we're going to, like, just start over and then start fresh in January with, like, a new pick. I think it's Lucy's pick this mm-hmm. time. Mm-hmm. Um, and then do a live show from there or what. But hopefully in January, I want to say, we'll have a live show. Yeah. Of something, whether it's um, Ocampo or something else. So, okay. yeah. Yeah. Ah, uh, I, yeah, I really need to get on the ASMR videos. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. I, Carolyn, that video is so good. I love Ooh, it. Yes, I want to do like different versions of it too, like um, favorite sculptures, and then t- like oh, that'd be so cool. Yeah, and then I think someone pointed out that all of the painters in that video were male, so I would love to do one like female, female. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Definitely, I know. I feel like I started. So- this is my issue. I start series and then I don't continue them. Like mm-hmm. I did. Um, books that changed my life I did one video and it was Anna Karenina and I want to do so many more because I have so many that I could talk about I just have to that's that's a, a video goal for Carolyn yeah. mm-hmm. <laughs> pull through with your series oh happy new year Italy oh happy new year mm. yeah Carolyn we're like pretty close I don't know how many hours um, actually it's in it we did um i think it's like a nine hour drive from new york yeah. to canada except neither of us drive i drive you drive yeah when was the last time you drove <laughs> <laughs> oh no yeah. i'm a car though i am a car so it's okay <laughs> oh my god um, yesterday i don't know I- Oh my gosh, I felt I thought you didn't have a driver's license. No, I've had a driver's license since I was 16. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I've been driving actually since I was like 15 because my dad like started teaching my sister and I in parking. 911. Like- Hello. <laughs> <laughs> no, cuz um we would always practice like before so that when we got our permits we would be good. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Maybe I shouldn't get on. So you can drive to me. Yeah. I mean, I'm uh, I've never scared for nine hours. Yeah. So yeah. 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 I should probably get on that, but I'm just not really interested in driving. I don't know. It's yeah. not a big deal. Is it 
is it convenient for you to like get rides? Because I feel um, like it would just. I, I really like walking mm-hmm. and I do take the bus. Okay. I don't know. And then if I go, I don't know, on vacation or something, I'll take a train. Like I took the, I don't know. Mm-hmm. But I mean, I probably should. I mean, I feel like I could drive, like, if there was, like, a zombie apocalypse or something and I had to steal someone's car. Like, I could probably drive it. Yes. But I just don't have a license. Yes. So, yeah. And, oh, my gosh, everything is so expensive. So, just don't Mm. really want to get into that. Mm. Um, Yeah. Maybe I should get a bike. There you go. But, yeah. I don't know. Oh, yeah. We always said we were going to, like, meet in Niagara Falls. (laughs) Oh, yeah. Yeah. Run to each other across the falls. I think that'd be amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you guys so much for coming. If there's anything you want to ask or need clarified or whatever. um... Feel free to ask. Oh, my gosh. I'm stupid. What? Oh, (laughs) Oh my God. (laughs) Should I yes. post it? I guess I should post it. I'm so yeah. sorry. So many of you have dipped because it's New Year's. I should have posted it <laughs> an hour ago. People will still see it, though. You'll, you'll still see it like, tomorrow. Yeah. So She's going to do the uh, Dickens the or Christmas poll of 2021. Um, How do I do this? Okay. Um, I guess you are voting for Tolstoy still, right? Um, I, yes. Yes. Okay, I just posted it on, um, my channel. Are you voting for Dickens still? Okay, I think based on this year. Oh, yeah, we should just do, like, a year roundup. Based on this year, who would you vote for? I think this year I would vote for Tolstoy. But I know in my heart of hearts that that's not going to remain. Does that make sense? Okay. okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. Cool. Okay. How long will the Dickens versus Tolstoy last? It is going until tw- the end of 2024. So we're in it for the long haul. <laughs> okay, cool. It's working. It's up. Okay. Everyone go vote on Emma's channel. (laughs) What was that? (laughs) I didn't know if you would be able to hear that. My dad just went, Willow. Oh. (laughs) Oh my gosh. Whoa, Dickens is at 60, Tolstoy's at 40. Ooh. But I think it all it always starts out like that. Yeah. Yeah. I keep sitting on my pant leg. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, anyway, yeah, thank you guys so much for this year. Like seriously, it's been so crazy to see how many people have wanted to join and read some dead guys with us. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You guys have made this a thing because, like, I keep thinking about if we never made it a book club and, like, actually people joined, it would just be you and I talking about Dickens and Tolstoy, you know, so. Which would be fine. (laughs) This is so much better. Yes, definitely. (laughs) Mm -hmm. (laughs) Maybe you should go check on that. Maybe we should wrap it up. Okay. (laughs) Oh, thank you guys so much. Thank Thank you. you. Um, and happy new year. Us. Yes, have a wonderful new year. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. To all a good night. <laughs> God bless us, everyone. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, I guess I will sign off. And okay. then if you guys still want to go vote, go vote because it'll be up for. Oh, it's at 50-50 right now. Ooh. So I guess we'll leave it there. End the year.
on the note of suspense. So, <laughs> um, okay, I guess ciao. Thank you so yes. much. Thank you so much. Okay, bye guys. Happy New Year. Bye. Happy New Year.